Hello, uh, in this video I will be showing you how I created this piece of furniture from an old mid-century sideboard. Unfortunately I deleted the intro and some of the other footage that I'd already recorded because I'm new to this and I'm not very good. But uh, please enjoy the video and uh, we're going to just jump straight in. Again. But you can see there it is, um, it's nice long mid-century low sideboard. Um, I've actually already painted it, it was quite damaged so, and I was using it for display in the shop um, for some kind of, I think it was jewellery or something or other, I can't even remember now. Um, so I have actually painted it once in just to get rid of all the marks in the black and then uh, last week I filmed myself filling in all these holes and sanding all that back but then like I said I lost all the footage. So I have actually done a little bit of work on this already um, and I've also taken the knobs off and started to prep it apart from this knob here because there is this serving tray here that's got this kind of enamel on it and the screw is tucked in behind that so um, I'm going to leave it on there for now and just see if I can work around it but I've decided to do some kind of um, pattern on here using tape so I'm going to kind of get this masked up now work out exactly what I want to do and get it all masked up and then start painting. Oh, I've got to decide on a colour as well. But we'll see, we'll see what happens. Right, so I am gonna just measure, make sure all these sections, obviously it breaks down into four sections. If I just open it up, you can see the cupboard there, cupboard there, drawers there, and like a serving, um, serving area for drinks here. So I just wanted to make sure that all these areas were the same. So that's five, three, three mil. Yeah, same. That's the same. And so is that, so I can use each section to mask up. I don't really know how I'm going to do it yet. I'm just going to have a play around. I've been looking for some inspiration and haven't really found anything yet. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to go for it and see what happens. So I should start doing that now. Uh, for masking up, I use frog tape. Uh, it's obviously a bit more expensive than normal masking tape, but it's just so much better. It doesn't bleed. Um, it, it goes on well, it comes off well, it doesn't bleed, you know, it doesn't let the paint bleed through usually. Uh, so this is what I use. So I will start masking up now. I think I have done a piece recently that people really liked using a pattern that kind of went down to the middle and then back up again. So I'm going to do something like that, but I'm just going to spend five minutes just having a little think and I might draw a couple of bits out um, on a bit of paper and just try and get some inspiration because at the moment I'm not sure what I'm going to do. So I've got my notepad here, find a pencil and I'll have a little play. So what I think I've decided to do is do a kind of triangle so coming from this corner down to the middle and then back up on each one of the sections. Uh, where is it? There. And then leaving that in wood and then painting the rest. So I'm going to make a start on that and, and see what it looks like when it's done. Okay, so I have now taped up each section just to see what it looks like. 
and I think it's going to look okay. I'm going to go with this and then I will just, I think I don't know if I want it a bit thicker. So I might want these lines a bit thicker so I might put another piece of tape running down and then obviously I've got to trim up uh, this bit here, trim that bit off and trim this bit off so you end up with a nice clean line uh, and a nice kind of nice kind of shape and it breaks things up nicely and then I'm going to decide on colours whether I do excuse me that's my stool whether I do one colour in these sections and another colour in here or whether I do the whole lot in one colour and just leave the uh, the wood showing where the tape is now and then I might decide on a on a, on a secondary colour like a gold or a bronze or copper something like that uh, but I'll decide that again later on so I'll keep going um, and see what it looks like when it's uh, completely finished, when it's all masked up. So this is what happens when you don't really know what you're doing. Um, I thought actually wonder what it would look like if I just did one side with a thick line and one side with a thin line. I'm trying to, trying to decide whether it's going to look good or awful. Because then I could do something in the thick line and not in the small line. I don't know. I'm going to try it. What have I got to lose? I'm going to see what it looks like. Worst case scenario, it looks awful. I may well change it again. I'm going to sit and stare at it for a while and have a think. I've finished taping up. Uh, I've decided to go with the same pattern but on the reverse. So you've got the thick bit there and a thin bit there and on the other way you've got a th thick bit there and a thin bit there. So that's all done, all taped, trimmed and I'm going to put the first layer of paint on but I'm just deciding whether to just go over the whole thing with the same colour um, or to do something else, do something different, I don't really know. Tricky decision because I, what I could do is I could leave say that shape there and do that in a different colour but that might look awful. I'm kind of making this up as, as I go along as you can obviously tell but hey sometimes the best pieces are produced that way. So hopefully it's going to look good. Actually yeah I've got a mix of colour now so I've decided to go for a dark teal uh, so I'm going to get that mixed now. So for that I have got obviously I use French chic paint so I've got French Chic uh, Loof that's in the Lazy range and somewhere in here uh, is it that one? No it's not. Maybe I haven't got any. So that means I have to go and steal one from uh, here. So that's the teal Okay, so I've mixed up the teal and the black and I've decided to go with this colour. It's a very dark teal colour. So I'm going to put my first coat on and see what it looks like. I'm going to use a roller um, because I want that nice clean finish uh, rather than using a brush. So I will get all that set up now and get my first coat on.
So I've done the first coat, as you can see I've left those little kind of diamond shapes in the middle of the four sections because I was just undecided as to what to do with them. I may well paint them the same colour, I'm just thinking, but I thought rather than just paint them I'll get the rest done and then I can have a think about that. So you know sometimes with these pieces I have a plan and I know exactly what I'm going to do from the very beginning. As you can probably tell with this piece I'm not 100% sure kind of obviously making it up as I go along, um, but kind of while I'm, while I'm doing something, I'm kind of thinking about the next process and whether I paint these areas in a different color or whether I paint them the same color. I haven't quite decided yet. So what I'm gonna do, I need to get the top, just give the top a little wipe off and the sides and give that a little coat of the, of the teal as well. Uh, and then I'll make my decision on the, on the diamond shapes and then obviously this will guide me as far as what I'm going to put on the inside because I'm going to do something on the inside of this, something probably quite wacky like a, a wallpaper um, or something like that. I've actually got in this drawer here, I've got a few different two, ones to choose from. I've got something like a geo pattern. Actually, I bought this one as well, which I think is quite nice. Uh, but I'm very tempted to go for, oh, it's not in there. Where is it? There's like a pink lemur. Uh, I don't actually know where it is at the moment. I oh, found it. So here it is. Here's the lemur pattern, which I have used before in other bits. Uh, so I may well use that on something on the inside. I'm not really sure yet. But for now, I'll put it in the drawer to keep it nice and clean. Put the rest of the wallpaper. And I shall get the top painted and the sides, and then I'll, while I'm doing that, I'll have a think about these shapes here. Okay, that's the, I've done the sides. Obviously I haven't, I've, I've avoided these hinges because um, obviously normally I would take the doors off and paint the carcass with the doors off, um, but I've obviously, I wanna do this first. So when I'm happy with the front, I'll probably remove all the doors and the drawers, and then I can finish all off. And I can take all these hinges off, so I'm not putting paint all over these hinges. It just looks a bit messy. And obviously then when you use them, the paint can peel off and it doesn't look very nice. I'm gonna leave the, the legs as wood, because I think that'll look really smart. Uh, so certainly picking up on the, the little bits of wood that I'm leaving on the tape. And then I'm steering towards uh, painting the whole lot because I think that, because it's not a true diamond, I think it's gonna look a bit weird, because I've obviously got the thick line there and the thin line there, so it's not actually an actual um, diamond, it's a trapezium or something, I don't really know. But anyway, I'll paint the top, so that's the first coat on the top, and obviously that side, and then I'll get the front dried now, I'll just blast it with a hairdryer, and then get my second coat on the front um, because I'd like to get as much done as I can before I need to go home. So I'll get that sorted now. So my first coat um, on here is now dry. So now I'm gonna put the second coat on and I just need to think about things like in these gaps here, see I've got a little bit of paint in there, do I paint them all or do I leave them as wood? So that's now had uh, three coats of paint. So it's now time to take the masking tape off. So I shall do that now.
So there we are with the tape all removed and I think it looks alright. I'm quite pleased with it. So now I've got to decide if I'm going to do anything else on the front, what colour I'm going to paint the knobs or if I'm going to leave them wood. Um, obviously I can have a look at this one that's still on there because I couldn't get it off and I don't want to break it. So I shall probably, oh, sorry, I'll probably leave it now and uh, get back on with it tomorrow. So the, the front's pretty much there. Um, I've just been playing around with these strips of copper and gold. So I'm going to have another little play with those. I've been cutting them out of these sheets uh, that you use to, you know, cover cupboards and drawer fronts, just from the, just from B and Q. Um, so I'm going to have a play with those. Um, I've just done another coat on the top and the side after doing a bit more filling and sanding. So that's just waiting to dry as well. So I'll just have a go at cutting some of these strips and see what it looks like. And then if I uh, think it looks good, I'll leave them on. If not, I'll whip them off and try something else. Um, so yeah, I'm pleased with it so far. It's looking good. And then I'm going to whip the doors and the drawers off and then think about painting inside or doing whatever else I want to do. Yeah, so I have put the strips on, um, the copper, and as you can see, I think it looks all right. It's difficult to see in this light, because the light in here is awful. But I'm going to leave them on there. I'm going to whip the doors off and the drawers out and start thinking about the inside. Right, after a lot of um, toing and froing and thinking what I'm going to do and changing my mind and um, I've decided, actually a customer and myself decided, a customer came in and I just thought oh, I'll just ask them, because she's, she's a regular, so I asked her what she thought and we've decided that we're going to go for this geo pattern, because it kind of works, it's got copper on it. It's got the dark, it's not quite the same blue, but I think it's gonna be fine. So that's gonna go inside. I think I'm gonna try and do it on the base and on the back of just the, the drinks area where you serve your drinks. I don't really need to worry about that cupboard and I don't really need to worry, obviously don't need to worry about the drawers and don't need to worry about that cupboard, but I think I might just paint the, the base there because it's a bit messy and it just looks a lot neater. But the, so I'll tape up round the sides, paint the base of that one and that one and then paint the back, no sorry, the sides of this one and then I'm going to put the paper on the back and on the on the base there, if that makes sense. Anyway, I'll just get on with that now and see, see what it looks like when it's done. So as you can see, um, I've just taped up around the sides and the back and on the front because I want all that to stay as wood and now I'm just going to paint this area here with this steel teal and loof colour and then I don't need to mask that up because it's gonna, I'm gonna paint the sides. I probably will mask up these sections here. Um, that's where the hinge goes, so that's fine. I don't need to worry about this section, so I'll do the same here and then get the whole lot painted um, and then get it dried. So I've painted uh, one coat on that cupboard. This one has been done with two coats and I've also cut out two bits of wallpaper, one for the base and one for the back. To, to stick down my wallpaper, I'm going to use this finishing coat by French Chic. Uh, it's great for doing decoupage and things like that. So I've just put a small amount in a tray and I shall brush that onto the area that I want to stick the wallpaper to and then get all the wallpaper stuck. So I'll do that now.
So that's now had a good coverage of finishing coat on the back and on the base, so now I can get the wallpaper stuck in. So I'll do the back bit first, and then I'll move on to doing the base. And then when that's dry, I will put an another coat of this uh, finish finishing coat over the top, and then it'll be wipe wipeable, because obviously it's gonna be for serving drinks. So we wanted people to be able to clean it out, and if there's any spillages, uh, that can be can be wiped and it won't affect the wallpaper. So that's all done. Uh, it's stuck. I've, I've overlapped it slightly on the back. I don't know if you can see that. Just down here, just to make it look nice and neat. Uh, so I'm just going to wait that, for that to dry and then make sure it's all trimmed. I've just got to trim this little bit here. Make sure that's, because that goes underneath the hinge. So obviously the door opens this way. So I'll get all that done. Um, and then I'll get all the doors and drawers back on. So I've pretty much done. Um, I've put the doors back on, the drawers, the knobs are on. I've just been round and touched everything up and tr made sure all of the paint was off the top of the doors. Just giving it a nice little once over, made sure it's all up together. Now I've got to give the bottom a clean, not the bottom, the base, the legs. And I'm just gonna pass this over. So for that, I'm using this disgusting concoction which is a mixture of boiled linseed oil, methylated spirits, white spirit, and like chip, normal chip vinegar. But there are different amounts, but if you want the recipe, I can do that. Um, so I use quadruple, quadruple zero wire wool, and put a bit on your cloth, and then literally just wipe it over, and it really kind of brings your wood back to life. Gets rid of any scratches or marks. Well, not if they're really, really deep. But you'll be amazed what it will do. It just brightens everything up and really brings the piece back to life. And then give that a wipe off. Straight away. Straight away, yeah. And then find that that will make that bit look really good. And actually, what I am going to do, sorry, is just make sure you see little patches here where I've just touched up. But there's like on there, there's greasy, horrible, dirty marks. So I will just give that a wipe off as well. Fine, that will completely clean those off. So it's all done. Uh, I put it in the shop. I'm just taking some pictures of it. Here it is. Oh, there we go. Give you a better look of it. There we are. So pretty much all finished now. Might need to do another little coat on the top just because it's gone a little bit patchy, but I'll do that tomorrow. So you can see the pattern on the front. And if I open this, you can see the wallpaper in there. The serving area for drinks. Oh, the camera focuses, there we go. The drawers. Now the cupboard. Close that one up. And then this one here. Your glasses in there. Actually, what I have done is forgotten to put the shelves back. There's actually a shelf in there and in the end one there. But overall, I'm pleased with it. It looks good. Thanks for watching the video. Uh, sorry if it's a bit ropey. It is my first one and I'm sure they will get better uh, in the future when I do more. Um, I did enjoy doing this piece of furniture. 
and the plan is to do lots more like this and lots of other different bits and just show you my day-to-day -day work in life and the things that we're creating within the shop um, and all the bits of furniture that we're upcycling and hopefully you'll pick up some hints and tips uh, and it'll be a useful thing for you to watch so thank you very much